Hey everybody, it's Clonaclex999, welcome back to more Legend of Zelda. In the last episode, we ran around like mad in Hyrule, and we got ourselves lots of stuff. We got ourselves um, an upgrade to our sword, and shield, and armor, we got more items like the arrows, and the blue candle, and the, and the red potion. And we also met up with a bunch of moblins that gave us a bunch of rupees, and a guy who took some rupees from us for breaking his door. Might be wondering why it was that armor? Well, we are a knight, aren't we? <laughs> Hang on a second. Is there too much static on the screen? Hmm. Yeah, I've been having a little bit of problem with this. I'm actually using my RF switch for this because, um, for some reason my, uh, AV, my AV cable just isn't working for some reason. I might have to, I might have to get a new one. Maybe I'll go to the, uh, game store later and I'll get a new one. But, anyways... I mentioned before that there are more than one. Okay, well. We basically want to head to the next dungeon. Or labyrinth. Whatever. Level. Whatever you want to call it. It's all the same, really. I'm just gonna go to the Great Fairy up here and have her heal us. I don't really think we really need uh, rupees for much anymore. Uh, there are two more things uh, that we can get um, for a bunch of rupees, but there won't be really be relevant. Uh, well, we won't be able to get them for a little bit. Is my question, or is my uh, what I'm trying to say here? I'm not gonna ask you a question. Yeah. By the way, if you guys are wondering how I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling a lot better. Just, uh, like, boomerang. Okay, we didn't even need it. Oh. We can, uh, with the white sword, we can uh, beat the moblins in one hit, too. At least the orange ones. Patience. Now, heading here, we got a bunch of armor so we can fight, but we don't want to fight them because they don't seem to drop anything. Welcome to level two. Now, for every dungeon in this game, I do plan to get the, uh, the map and the compass. However, I can't promise I'll be getting the map and the compass in order. I might just get whatever I get to first. Head in here. We got some new enemies. These are ropes. Basically, what they do is they, um, if you, um, if you are uh, adjacent to them, they will kind of rush at you. I uh, would get a key for doing that. But they're not that hard to defeat. I think if you had the normal sword, they would, uh, that would take two hits to beat, but I'm not sure. Now, you can kind of come in here without uh, needing, um... Like, you can come to this dungeon anytime. But, I think if you have the blue ring... Well, not necessarily blue. At least the magical shield. Um... And I guess the, uh... What's it called? The, um... The blue, um... Not the blue ring. Well, the blue... The white sword, it will make this place a little bit easier, but I think at least having the magical shield might be an idea before you come here. And you'll see why in a minute. Yeah. 
If you want to conserve your keys, though, I will make note of where there are, um, uh, walls you can bomb. Uh, there's actually one right here. If you want to skip and save your keys, you can use these, but I, I'm not really gonna... I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm not really going to, uh, use, um, bombable walls unless, uh, it's the way you're supposed to go. You can kind of just bomb your way through this whole temple. Oh. Oh, okay, as you see right there, um, that is actually something else in this gate. Uh, sometimes, um, in rooms there are, like, leaders of the groups. Oh, wait, didn't we do this last time? I don't know. But, um, that Gariah right there we fought was, like, the leader because we beat him. All the other ones disappeared. Okay. Here's what we would have come out of before. And here's the dungeon map. I don't know what that uh, looks like. It looks almost like a croissant, but... I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's a place you can bomb right here. Here we have some blue Gariahs, and we also got these stone statues right here. This is why I recommended having the magical shield before coming here, is that these stone statues will be spitting fireballs at you, and, uh, it's not healthy for your health. Actually, why am I not using the boomerang on this? And there we go, for beating him, we get something called the magical boomerang. The magical boomerang is... Pretty much the same as the normal boomerang. Ow. Um, let me go out here first. But the only difference is that it was is that the original one was uh, limited in range. This one is not. It will go across the whole screen before um and come back to you. Now we head in this room. Oh wait. Almost forgot. Place you can bomb here. And we get in here. We got some new enemies. Uh, these are Moldorms. They're basically uh, segmented into five chunks. Um, well, five parts. And uh, basically, you just gotta beat all five of them to beat the Moldorm. Got an area with a bunch of keys and some blade traps. Uh, just uh, put a place you can blow there. Uh, just a warning for you, by the way. Uh, if you don't have bombs, you're going to want to have to get some before uh, you get to the boss. We head in here. Uh, we just got some gels in here. Uh, yeah, I think you'll get a blue ruby if you beat them. There we go. Now we head in here. Dodongo dislikes smoke. By the way, I just... Uh, actually, never mind. So, it's, I wonder what this Dodongo is. First off, we gotta beat these Garayas. I think you probably hear that. By the way, if you notice, um, these Dodongos, or not Dodongos, um, uh, these Garayas actually have magic boomerangs too. And, um, 
my theory for why they, I, they do damage to you and they just don't stun you is because uh, they, um, their boomerangs are sort of a mix of magical and normal. So, but because we have the magic boomerang, now they have magic boomerangs. Now, if I bomb right here, um, this is a way back to, uh, the dude that was in here. So yeah, a lot of shortcuts you can take in this game. Uh, I'm gonna grab this bomb just to make sure. Actually, I shouldn't have gotten that. Dang it. Oh. Okay, well, we head in here. We have the boss. This is a Dodongo. It will kind of just move around um, uh, uh, normally. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to uh, put a bomb in its mouth. And then you want to put another bomb in its mouth. And two of them will beat it. And we got a heart container for that. Woo! Now we have eight units of health. Uh, there actually is a trick you can use on the Dodongos. Um, and I'll make note of it the next time we encounter them. But with that... And there we go. That is another, another t dungeon beaten. Uh, there, there wasn't really any, um, special, there wasn't really any, um, anything special for or us that, well, I mean, like, the item we got won't really uh, net us anything special in the long run. However, there is, uh, there are two things left, that, two things that I would like to do. Um, a few things, actually. First off, I kind of just want to explore Hyrule a little bit, show you guys what the land is like. Well, we already kind of know what the land is like, kind of just by looking at it, but... In any case, um... I'll meet you at the first thing. Now, first off, um... I went ahead and here where we got the blue ring. Um, notice, by the way, this guy's wearing a different tunic, uh, because, um... Uh, before. Before he's wearing a green one, now he's wearing a white one. Due to color palette things in this game, um... A lot of things will change color, um, uh, like, um, alongside of something. Like, for example, uh, I think there's a few enemies that will change color, um, that will, depending on what, uh, su a suit you have, or just armor. This guy's one of them. I don't know if the, uh, old people do, but, anyways, um, even though they, uh, um, it's saying that this is really expensive, ironically, though, this is actually the cheap, the cheapest you can get this. Uh, this is, uh, food. Uh, it's not, like, something you use on the fly to, like, restore a little bit of health. Um, that's what the potion's for. Um, basically, it's th something that will allow you to, um, distract enemies. Like, if I put this down here, the Octoroks will kind of hover around it, and, uh, you can, uh, use it to, um, to, uh, be, to, uh, get them easier. It'll disappear after about, like, ten seconds, though, so, uh, it's not, um, so, yeah. Um, it might seem like a useless thing, um, and to an extent it is, uh, but this actually is required to get, like, you don't, you won't need it right away, but you, this will be required to get, just letting you know. Um, now, the food, I believe, will distract Octoroks, Moblins, Gorayas, and, uh, what was the other thing? <clears throat> uh, yeah, um, the food will distract, um, Akrox, Moblins, Graz, and actually an enemy we haven't seen yet, so, uh, I'll be sure to let you know when that time comes. Now, we go into this area, um, I recommend, uh, you... Beat all the moblins in here first. This area is um, a place called the Lost Woods. Um, kind of like an area back up, um, back up on Death Mountain. Um, this is kind of area kind of loops. Well, if you want to get through here, um, now there actually is a bit of a hint system in this game. Um, if you go around the, okay, well actually. I think it'd be better if I show you, um... If 
If I head into this uh, cave entrance right here, pay me and I'll talk. Basically what happens here is that you give her a certain amount of money and she will uh, give you a hint on what to do. But the thing about her is that you have to choose one of them for her to give you the hint. If you choose the wrong amount, she'll steal your money from you and you'll be like, no, sorry, I'm not going to talk. You have to give her the amount of right amount of money and then she'll tell you the secret. Um, yeah, it's really stupid, I know, that she just robs you and then doesn't give you anything, but, so, I'm just going to tell you, tell her what she says without paying her. Um, she says, go northwest, southwest to the, uh, the forest maze. Basically, this place is called the Lost Woods, and, uh, what you want to do is you want to go north, west, South. West. And there you go. And we got these guys right here that do a lot of damage to you. Um, lineals. Um, boomerang's good on them because it prevents them from shooting. But just like the Octoroks, uh, they do, um, stop moving for a second before, f before throwing their swords. So you can kind of probably predict them that way. But I would kind of try to avoid fighting them for now because, like I said, they do do a little bit of damage. I hope that, and just hope that they don't attack you while you're on the stairs. This is an enemy called a Ginny or Guinea, I think. It's like it's spelled a, a G H I N I. Uh, they move kind of slow and they're not that strong, but they take a lot of hits to beat. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. And if you touch the graves right here, we have a, um, some guineas will spawn. You might think this is a good grinding spot, but, like, for some reason, the guineas won't, um... You can't attack these guineas for some... The guineas that come out of the, uh... Come out of the graves. I found a little bit odd. But, there is something a little bit special in this cemetery. It is that one of these graves is false. This just happens to be the one. Master using it, and you can have it. This. So, this guy has another sword for us, but we cannot pick it up. Um, just like the white sword, we will be able to get this when we have a certain uh, heart containers, and I'll be sure to let you guys know when that time comes. For now, we can't have it. Because we're too weak. Why well, do you expect us to get stronger if, we, uh, if we're too weak? Well, I mean, how do you expect us to get stronger... If the thing that'll make us stronger, you won't give to us. Okay, wow, I was trying to, like, fight them, but that guy was, like, trying to prevent him. We get some armos here. And, like, apparently I touched one intentionally. If we head in here, um, there's a place you can get some, uh, get potions. Uh, there, um, are a bunch of these throughout the land. So we're going up a different side of Death Mountain. Now, this area. Like, if, if I wake up that Armos right here, that will uh, net us something. This right here is the Power Bracelet. Basically, it allows us to move um, certain things that we cannot move. Um, this only really comes into play a couple times, at least in the first quest. And, um... But if I go up here, I will show one of those. If I push this rock aside, it opens up a staircase. If I head in it... Take any road you want. Check it out, we're here now. This will basically allow us to fast travel around Hyrule. We're actually right next to the start here. Hold on, I'm gonna show the other one. Huh? 
Yeah, here we go. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, I kind of wish it would kind of indicate, uh, be a bit more clear about where you're going before you take the staircase, but that's okay. Now, up here on Death Mountain, there is one last thing I want to show. <coughs> I want to head up here and over here. Got some boulders. I don't think there's any way to beat these boulders. They kind of just go down and get in your way. I like that episode of Thomas and Friends. Here we have an arrow. It's just telling you to go back because there's nothing here. Okay, I really do not want to die or get low on health, but I want to show that if you pull up this wall right here, Ones who does not have Triforce can't go in. Well, basically, this guy it says level 9. As you can probably imagine, this is our final destination on our journey. And he, this guy is preventing us. If you attack an old man in a dungeon, he will fireball you. But your shield can block him anyway. As you can probably imagine by this cut, by this, um, by, uh, this being level 9 and the fact that he won't let us pass unless we have the Triforce, this dungeon is the final destination on our journey, as I just said. We cannot, uh, go through, go into this until we have beaten, uh, the, the, uh, the last two dun- or the first eight dungeons we can't before. Now, I just want to mention that even though this is the last one you have to do, this is the last one you're supposed to do, you can tackle the other dungeons in any order you want, but you might be hindered a little bit from items that you can get in the previous ones. Some dungeons are better to do before others, but I personally just like to do them in order. But anyways, guys, that's really all, all I wanted to show. Um, there are a few more shops around here and other secrets to everyone you can find. So there are a few rupee spots. Um, but I think I'm just going to uh, end the video off here. And uh, next time on The Legend of Zelda, we are going to run around Hyrule and try to find level 3. See you guys then.